This chavan prash is 67% sugar. That means this much is just sugar. What? Is this for immunity or diabetes? And look at all these ingredients in the front. The only thing that's missing is sugar. Ah, the images are for representation only. That makes sense. These are not real images. If Patanjali really cared about our immunity or our health, they would have added better ingredients than just adding refined sugar. So what does Chavan Prash do to my blood sugar levels? Let's find out. Welcome to the medicine series where I'm trying different medicines and supplements to show how much sugar it might be in them. The box recommends you to have two tablespoons or 30 grams of Chavan Prash every day. 30 grams is about 22 grams of sugar, about this much. This is a lot. So let's take a look at the results. Wow, a 25 mg spike. I'm not surprised considering there's 22 grams of sugar in two tablespoons. And look, because it is straight sugar, my blood glucose spiked and then spiked down very quickly within an hour. And that's not good. So next time, be careful having Chavan Prash, especially from Patanjali. And Patanjali, I request you to please improve the ingredients in this Chavan Prash and stop playing with people's health.